Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Start. Friends, at the outset, I would like to thank you for the opportunity that has been given to me to take part in this conference. First of all, I shall say that it is a very good idea to call this conference. At the same time, I think you will agree that it is also necessary to think as to how to implement the decisions that have been taken by us here. As you are very well aware, many of the decisions are not new. So far as these decisions are concerned, we would expect them to get translated into action by themselves, as if saying a thing means that it is done. However, there can be no second opinion about the fact that between the saying and the doing, there is a great deal of hard work. So far as the economic programs are concerned, we should try to do things by taking as many people along with us as possible. In this connection, I would now like to bring to your attention the fact that at present there is considerable improvement in the standard of living of the rural areas. There is no doubt that it has been made possible only by our efforts in the last few years to remove poverty and bring about greater equality among the people of our country. Taking into consideration the needs of the people, a large number of measures are being undertaken by the government in order to improve the conditions of those living below the poverty line. I hope you will agree with me when I say that only if there is stability in the nation, it is possible for any government to pursue its good policies. I have no doubt that you are aware of the various schemes of the government in that direction. I would like to make it clear that we must involve voluntary organizations and students in this way of advancing the cause of our less privileged people. I am sure if we take up the work seriously, there is no reason why in a very short time we cannot change the condition considerably. I am glad to have this opportunity of being with you. I do hope that some very practical suggestions 
will come up during the course of the discussions that are going to take place for a few more days letter dated the 10th january 2000 from raman brothers big street kanchipuram to messrs vasu agencies anna salai madurai dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter dated the second instant and we have noted the contents we are very glad to hear that there is a very great demand for our new design sarees in your city and surrounding areas we are very happy to accept your valuable orders for the supply of 2000 sarees we would like to assure you that the items required by you will be dispatched to you within a weeks time at the most we would be very much obliged if you could kindly send a check for a sum of rupees 5000 as advance immediately so that we may be able to make the supply without any loss of time at this juncture we would very much like to seek your fullest cooperation and help in future also yours faithfully